Hi guys, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. I feel like I haven't done an actual like week in my life vlog in quite some time. Happy Monday. If you guys are new here, subscribe. My name's Kinsey. I'm 23. I live in Dallas, Texas. Um, I have two really cute dogs. One of them is hiding. I just got back from a nice walk at the lake and coffee. Now I'm going to get to work. Do you guys like it when I talk about like what I'm doing for work? Because I don't feel like it's one relatable and two entertaining. So let me know. I guess I kind of will because obviously I won't have known by then. What do you guys like to see in vlogs? I'm loving my new rug, by the way. It's making this place just very cozy. It's time to come over here and record my intro for this week's podcast episode with Katie Austin, which is a very exciting episode. Don't look at this. First thing I do on Monday mornings is I record my podcast intro, outro ads, and I send it in. Fun stuff, everyone. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to the I Love You So Much podcast. I'm pretending it's fall, so I'm just playing Taylor Swift. I decided that I needed to wear a real outfit. So this dress is Princess Polly. I'm sending in files. I just did a bunch of my random stuff. I have a call in five minutes, so I need to go. But um, I got a lot of stuff done in an hour, so I'm feeling good. Still in the same place. I've gotten a ton done. Just got off the call with Ikea for the 15th time this week. It's currently 4 p.m. I'm gonna keep working. I have core power at six. I've been loving core power lately. I know I keep talking about it. It's been a very productive day. I'm feeling good. I'm about to hop on a call. Sorry, this is probably annoying. I'm about to hop on a call with a girl that I think is going to do my newsletter. So I'm gonna keep the podcast newsletter as is and that really gives you like timestamps and like more information and everything is linked there from the episode. And then I'm gonna start my own newsletter because I need something that's gonna hold me accountable with writing and this will get me in a good routine. So I'm gonna start a new like just Kinsey Elizabeth newsletter and it's gonna be like book and podcast recs and then of course like products here and there but mainly it's gonna be like writing and just kind of like navigating your 20s and you know, it's confusing and weird and hard and it's something I talk about all the time. So I feel like I should make it into a newsletter where I'm constantly sharing things with you guys. Doesn't that sound like a good idea? Yes. Join both mailing lists, but the difference between the two is one is a podcast newsletter and then the other is just Kenzie Elizabeth. Kenzie Elizabeth one is a lot more about like navigating your 20s. And if you ever want good book or podcast recs, it's on there. I'm actually about to read a book too. I feel like I really need to like hone in on my like brand pillars. So I need to get that done. I actually read this book. Um, I just posted about it and I was like going through an exercise. What is it called? Scout from OK Sis um, posted it to her story and I purchased very quickly. So we should all be millionaires by Rachel Rogers. Very good. It talked about like also kind of delegation and just things that you should spend money on in order to make more money. So I'm getting an assistant as I've talked about a billion times, but I'm in the process of it right now. Also, I am in the process of like a bigger project that is something that I've been wanting to do for like so long and I think will be like hopefully have longevity to it. I don't think I'm like the influencer who's just gonna be like I have a secret project and then announce it like a year from now. I actually would really like to take you guys along the journey with me. I even have like TikTok ideas for the brand and all this stuff. So if you guys would rather me like take you along with me, I would much rather that. Also like I vlog and it'd be too difficult to like keep things offline and whatever but I would rather you guys feel a part of it and I would like to get your feedback throughout it. So, you guys let me know if that's anything that you guys would care about. I'm gonna hop on a call right now and I will talk to you guys later. It's 5 p.m. exactly. I'm done with work for the day. Closing my laptop. Feeling very good about it. I'm about to take these pups outside. How are you, dude? He is so worn out from his walk this morning. He's been sleeping all day. Guys, can you believe how big he is? Isn't that so crazy? Comment if you guys are watching um, back when I got Fitz and he was a little puppy. I mean, he still is. Actually, how long are dogs considered puppies? I don't know. He's always a puppy to me. I'm on my way to Core Power. I am so excited. I love their yoga sculpt class. I find, I said this in this week's podcast episode entry, so if this feels repetitive, that's why, but I love their yoga sculpt class. I find that it is the most similar to my hot Pilates class. It's heated. Yoga sculpt and a matte Pilates class, at least within these two studios, are pretty much the exact same class. So that's been a really like happy thing in my life recently because I look forward to it every single day I normally go in the morning like I'll go tomorrow morning But tonight I'm just going with a friend because that's when it worked for her schedule 
I really love it. It's honestly just been such a little bit of a mood booster, if you will. Comment below the best thing that's happened to you in the past week. Honestly, mine was realizing that I actually do like core power. I thought I didn't like it before. I did a few classes last year, and I feel like I just don't like the teachers or something. I don't know what it was, but I didn't really like it, and now I'm obsessed. So I died in that class. Why does an hour-long class feel feel twice as long as a 45-minute class? I mean, it was just, it was so much. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna do laundry. It's really fun day money. What? Just really funny, fun what? It's really fun Monday night things. Okay. Good morning guys. I realized that my last clip was also in my car talking about core power, going to core power. And like, listen, I'm a creature of habit, okay? Last night I got home. The class, first off, was so hard. I got home, I showered, I did like an hour of the laundry, I cleaned. It was such a cozy night at home. Then I read my book, I went to bed. Now it is 6.30, I'm going to Core Power today. Amanda's coming with me. Um, she's been one time before and she didn't love it. <laughs> so, um, also, I feel like you guys have probably seen Amanda on my Instagram. We've been friends since, I wanna say for like three years now. We met in LA at church there and now and now she lives down the street from me so very exciting i'm going to a 7 a.m 45 minute class thank god um and then we'll get going with the day i have a shoot so as soon as i get home i need a self tan but yeah <laughs> all right guys i just filmed a little get ready with me for this look, um, and I talk about what I learned in my 23rd year, this lighting, here we go. Um, Chicks in the Office, what's your favorite podcast to listen to? Anyways, I did an entire video on like what I learned in my 23rd year, I talk a lot about uncertainty, heartbreak, just, you know, whatever, things that happened in my 23rd year. I don't know if heartbreak would really be one, but like a breakup, you know? It's 12.20, my Ikea delivery is between nine and one, so hopefully they're here within the next 40 minutes. I'm gonna send some of this footage off to my editor, get more stuff done. Um, today is like a video content creation day, so there's not gonna be crazy things on the vlog, honestly, as much. I need to answer some emails about an assistant. Which, so I'm shooting with someone today, which I actually haven't done in so long. I'm putting on my outfits. This dress is Princess Polly. These shoes are free people. It's really cute. I think it's a little bit different than just like a basic, you know, little black dress. For this look, I'll probably pull my hair up in um like a little hair clip that i always wear but i don't have that right now so anyways this is look number one i'll show you guys my idea for look number two i'm thinking this for the second look this top is princess polly these pants i think are actually also princess polly they're just like normal trousers i have one of my jordans on i have an air force one on i'm trying to figure out what i really want to do this is probably not the one that I want yet. Yeah, this is not it. I just wish I had like a different trucker. Like I like this Texas Women's Club one. I think it might be the door, guys. I don't know. I want a hat with this outfit, so we'll see. I need to change shoes. Hopefully this door will be fixed soon. Take my shoes and we're off. Please ignore my hair. I just pulled it up, uh, not for style, but because it is, I think it is uh, 93 degrees outside right now, guys. And I'm wearing a long sleeve and pants to go shoot. I also have a matching top. That's just like, I don't see how that's going on. My second look is a dress and boots, so like that will be better. Anyways, I'm going to go take some photos with Markel. We've been planning on shooting since like pre-COVID. Today I edited some videos, I filmed a video. I made some TikToks also for like the thing that I'm working on. Also, I made some like brand stuff. When it doesn't have to do with just me, I'm actually like really excited about making like TikTok content I've realized for like other things. Honestly, I feel like I'm just having a hard time with my YouTube channel because I'm trying to focus on other things like TikTok and podcasting and whatever. And I just feel like there's not enough time in the day. I don't know, I just like don't know what to post on YouTube sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean like literally all the time. I can't take myself seriously. Like, look at this. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to listening to Taylor Swift. I'm pretending that it's fall because it's 93 degrees out and I don't like the heat. So if I put Taylor Swift on, I just close my eyes, not as I'm driving, but I just picture a cool breeze. And I'm getting like a pumpkin spice something. I mean like, yeah, I need it to be fall. 
Guys, it was so hot outside. It's 5.45. I'm supposed to meet up with Janine at church at 7, but my closet's supposed to be finished tonight, and the guy hasn't told me when he's coming over, and I just don't know what's happening, but I just came home to so many packages, none of which are my outfits for this weekend for my birthday. I'm actually getting really insecure because I'm not really someone who's like obsessed with my own birthday, but um, the way that it's worked out is that my friends threw me like a birthday dinner on Friday, just like the girls that I normally get dinner with, so it's not like my birthday dinner. It's like our dinner, but it's my birthday. And then on Saturday, we got a party bus because Parker McCollum is at Juxa. I mean, sorry, Dos Equis Pavilion. So it's turned into like a whole birthday weekend and like Saturday, it's my actual birthday and I'm doing things with family. Dom gets here. I just feel like it's becoming like this really big thing and like I feel like I'm that person, but I don't think anything of it when other people do it. I'm actually really big proponent of other people's birthdays, so maybe I shouldn't be thinking like that. I don't know, but anyways, I ordered all these clothes for this weekend for all my outfits and I was really excited about them and more specifically just because <laughs> The only outfits I can wear outside and after being outside realizing how hot it was. I need those outfits They got lost in the mail and so I threw that out. Coco! It's hot up. My dogs are barking. I'm I got a simple human cup I was influenced by Tinks on the Skinny Confidential. I really like this. I'm not gonna lie And it's crazy because I was so dehydrated from that shoe It was 100 degrees out and in downtown I wasn't like thinking about how hot it was gonna be and I was wearing long sleeves My fault and I was just thinking how badly I wanted a water bottle, but I needed to do my dishes and I knew they were all in there. And then I came home and that was there. But I wanted to do a little unboxing of this cow pack bag. Oh, it's my mom texting me. It's her birthday. Okay. I got this because I saw it on Brooke's story. And I really needed a new laptop bag because the Zara one I have is like a beach bag. And like, I don't know, I needed a new one to take with me. Maybe even on the carry-on, but like mainly just to go work places because I've been like working outside of my house a little bit. Honestly, even just keeping it in my house and making it look sleek because I work downstairs, so if I can just keep it all in a bag, it makes me feel like less cluttered. I really don't like having a lot of stuff out. Like even my kitchen, it's kind of stresses me out because I feel like there's too much stuff around. This bag is really big. Has this little strap that you can put your suitcase through. And then here you go. It's a very classic clean laptop bag, which I'm excited for. It came pretty quickly too. It has a long strap. Oh my gosh, heck, ow. Really have been doing a little bit too much shopping. When I came home with all these packages, I said, whose are these? Ooh, you like it. I think this will be a lot better and it'll keep everything in one place, even inside my house. Which is good. I can't even think to do my dishes right now. I just like can't. I can't be bothered. Got three new Amazon workout sets. I'm going to um, do a little TikTok and film like a try on for these. So if you guys want to see that, follow me on TikTok. I also ordered this off Amazon because I saw it on TikTok. It's a shaving powder, and apparently it's like the best thing you'll ever use ever. I don't know. I've never tried it. So I thought I'd order it, it was inexpensive. I'll let you guys know. And I got another um, lip, I almost said lip balm, cleansing balm from 20's World, which is Emily's new line. I already have it, because she sent it to me, but this is the one I purchased, and it's actually so good. Like, I would be telling you guys that with or without like any connection. Also, little sneak peek at some new merch. Very exciting, coming out in August. All right, I'm heading off again. Gotta grab my phone. I changed into a dress. Just wearing a really simple dress. Good morning. It's 6.30 a.m. I'm about to fill up my favorite new. I've used it once last night, and I'm obsessed. This is like that Tink's cup. She was right, guys. She really was. I'm starting to wake up at 6.10 naturally, and I've been reading The Miracle Morning. I actually finished it last night, and it makes me want to just do it. Because that is so something that I would like. If you guys have done the actual like Miracle Morning routine. Honestly, it's not really different. It's not crazy different from what I was doing before. It's elements of routines I've done. Just like kind of all together. And maybe not as long. I don't really know how to describe it. Basically, I haven't done a morning routine like that. Since I moved back to Dallas. And I wasn't like as crazy packed. Especially with COVID. Like I wasn't just like waking up at 6. Like 5 or 6 for 
fun. And now I would like kind of like to go back to that. If you guys would like a video where I try the Miracle Morning Routine for a week and I keep you guys updated on like how I feel about it, let me know. Sports bra. Oh shoot, I'm forgetting where this is from. Honestly, I don't know. It's just a basic black sports bra. These leggings though, I really do like the cut of it. That's why I wish I knew. I'm like about to strip. Okay, you know, I'll figure it later. These leggings are $26 from Amazon and they feel like the Lulu Align leggings. I've shared them before, but... They're just so good. 6.34, I like to leave for my worker class at 6.35, get there by, you know, 6.40 something, and I uh, get a mat and just have like a nice, not rushed class. It's really close to me, but you know, what's the, the TikTok audio, like I've never relaxed, that's me. Yesterday on Spotify, I discovered the 90s mix as I was looking for like playlists that they've made me, and Guys, mine is 80% country, one Hillsong song, um, Destiny's Child, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Backstreet Boys, and Blink 182. But don't forget, there's one Hillsong song. <laughs> it is um, probably the most me thing I've ever, I've ever seen. I'm obsessed with this cup again, guys. Like, I don't know, a good cup really changes things. And connected to the deeper world around us. Guys, I came home to bad news. The dogs have never really, well, especially Fitz, I think this is probably Coco. I don't know, neither of them ever chew anything. So I didn't think anything of it. They haven't, Fitz to this day, knock on wood, has never chewed anything in his life. Anyways, my brand new rug. Ugh, I'm, I mean, it's, obviously I can't return this. I am getting that little poof thing, so maybe I'll just like put it over this. Depending on, I don't know. Dang, guys, that really sucks. I'm not happy with you guys. Notice how she's like sitting up straight, acting like she did nothing wrong. You know, I don't know which one of you it was, but I'm willing to bet Coco, it was a good chance it was you. I'm home, it's 8.30, I just showered. I'm meeting with my manager at 9.30. I wanted to take you guys through like how I've been doing my like makeup. Recently, I just do my skincare and then of course my glow screen old school YouTube um, This lip gloss by the way, I already put it on it is the hourglass unreal Fever how do you know which one is the shade and which one is like the line name, you know Get my hair done today So this will be fixed. We're gonna do this out of order have my brow gel I much prefer a clear brow gel, but I do actually like this like the gel itself but see it's just like dark oh wow i'm gonna fix that in a second my milk bronzer stick milk milk i say milk and i know it's milk but saying milk sounds so weird to me i didn't even notice that it was like weird that i did that until i started getting bullied for it from my friends my favorite cream blush tower 28 this is in happy hour I love this blush. Then I take an actual, this is a blush. Okay, I take an actual ah, bronzer, okay? Blush. I go over all the cream products with powders. Is that a bad idea? I don't know, that's what I do, and I feel like it makes it stay. Maybe I'm lying to myself. Here's my setting powder, hourglass dim light. I use a lot of hourglass products now that I'm realizing this, even my lip product. All right, so essentially just gives you like an easy glow. Okay, I have my iPad, my purse. I'm bringing this to meet my manager in 15 minutes at Walla Land. Loving this still. I hate when there's clutter here. Are you guys like clutter? Like even that, I need to take that downstairs. I mean like, these are just things that need to be hung. It drives me insane. My closet will officially be done today. Um, so then I'll take them upstairs and figure it out. But I think these are so cute for this weekend. I'm actually really excited. Anyways, I wanted to say that I'm actually going through this book again. My friend Amanda and I are doing it together. It's day three. I haven't done it yet this morning. I really like doing it as soon as I wake up, but honestly this morning, it's just kind of a little bit of a rushed day because I have a hair appointment at 12.30. Draw the circle of the 40-day prayer challenge. It's just like a good reading every morning, but it is my favorite like little morning reading book, whether it's like a devotional or even just like a normal morning reading. I flip between a bunch of different books in the morning, but 
this is by far my favorite. I ordered a new one, and Amazon told me that I'd ordered like seven because I sent it to people too. But I've just marked it up too much, and I also have it on my iPad, and I marked that up too much, so I had to buy a new one. Like that's how much I love this book. All right, I'm heading off. I've been thinking all morning. I made breakfast. I had eggs and avocado. I can't decide if I want matcha or coffee. I feel like I want coffee. I've been back to drinking like iced coffees recently because um, I think it's because of my morning workouts and I just been a little bit more tired. I love my house. Like so cozy. Coco. I know. from potentially the most exciting meeting of my entire life, came home, all of a sudden, I say, I literally said, these dogs don't do anything. They chewed up one of the coasters, because it's wood. It was a $10 coaster, and now it's there. I can't even think about this right now, but why are you guys trying to ruin my life? Anyways, I'm about to hop on, I'm gonna be a guest on a podcast, and then I have a call, and then I'm getting my hair done. My new little work toe to bring to the hair salon for the first time. I have this. I'm about to go pick up some salads for my sister and I. If you guys live in Dallas, I get my hair done by my sister. She's great. She's at Global Group Hairdressing Salon. There's like so many. She gets mad, but like the name is so long that I like always mess it up. Anyways, wow. Loving this space, but um, you guys should go to her and book with her. I'll have her links down below all right so while we're here um not that this is some crazy big announcement but what i was talking about earlier what i'm working on we are it's it's a very big project it's a brand that my friend jess and i are starting and we've already you're posting about it we're gonna like take you through the whole process but it's called the okine it's very exciting we will have things coming out you guys can follow it on instagram and on tiktok but we're doing things very different than I think the traditional like launch method and we're gonna take you through even like you know meetings with investors and like partners and things like that um, it's gonna be really cool and I think it's actually gonna be really helpful and like informational but also like we want you guys to feel like you've been a part of it the entire time because you really have also I'm getting a salad right now so so it's exciting. This isn't like some crazy announcement, but like there's gonna be so many things that are just like really cool. I would just not much, much, much rather take you guys along on the journey. Um, yeah, it's very exciting. Um, obviously you guys don't have like all the details yet, but it's very cool. You guys can follow along. Um, I already did like two TikToks should be posted by now, which is exciting. All right, cheers to that, guys. I'm going to get my hair done. Thank God. Awesome. While we're here, um, I think I already talked about the newsletter, but I'm gonna start writing for it today in the salon chair. This newsletter is for you if life has ever confused you, if you like just random thoughts, like especially if you like the like 101 essays kind of books, things like that, um, or just want to feel like you have a friend who's like going through life with you, the newsletter is for you. Because he broke it, so we finally got it replaced and he's coming. He's coming to fix it today. Okay, thank you. No, he's not picking up the dog. All right, bye. He's not. Why? Because he keeps bringing me. He's not picking up. He's going to my house. He keeps bringing a farm to the house. <laughs> it's his house too, Maddie. Yes, but I just got it cleaned. I walked in this the other day. There was six bed, or six dogs on his bed. What? Who is his dog? We don't even have that many dogs. Um. got the ends that were dead cut off feels so good the final door has been put on the closet I was to the office I'm gonna film my reaction it's nothing like crazy different but I'm filming an entire closet reveal video tomorrow so let's oh my gosh it actually looks so much better with that other door on I'm so excited this is oh my gosh Wow, 
Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys, I'm home. I already said that. This is what I mean. Like, I go through phases of life where I've just forgotten how to vlog, and like this week is one of them. But I did want to follow up and talk about the Up and Away Cleansing Balm from 20s World from Emily's line. It's beautiful. This is the best cleansing balm I've ever used in my entire life. Like, you know how a lot of cleansing balms will end up being like almost like really oily on your skin and like they'll just end up being really oily on your skin and just like leave this weird residue? No, this doesn't at all. Oh, look at me right now. It is super lightweight, which I love. Look, like, I am obsessed with this stuff. This stuff is so good. As far as tanner goes for your face, I love this stuff. It's a tan luxe super glow hyaluronic acid self tan serum. I mix this with anything. I just honestly get a generous amount and I apply it to my face at night. Not every night, obviously, but I'll apply it to my face at night as like a hyaluronic acid. I don't put anything on top of it, so I don't even know if this is like right. It gives you like when you wake up a really good glow. Love this, I'll also link this below. I am so hungry right now. Okay. I am so hungry right now, so we're gonna go make my favorite go-to dinner. I actually haven't been making it that much recently, so this is exciting. I finally did the dishes, which was really not fun, but I, I also ordered these new shoes from Steve Madden. I've been looking for like the perfect platform like this for so long, and they're brown. I love these. I just want to say that my like new healthy routine that I've been doing has truly made the biggest difference. Like, I just feel so good. I haven't made like drastic changes. It's just like early morning workouts. Like tomorrow is a 6 a.m. class and like 6 a.m. class is just so much earlier than a 7 a.m. class, but it's okay. It'll be good. I actually really enjoy like a crazy early morning class once I'm out. But like, it's the waking up part that sucks. Anyways, I just wanna say, after doing this for a few days, I'm even just drinking more water and like cooking from home and just doing things that make me feel good where I feel like I've kind of maybe like been lacking that the past few months. I feel so much better. I am so much more productive. I'm so like, I'm so much more efficient. I mean, oh my God. Obviously it's really important to be able to like relax and chill and like you don't need to do that stuff all the time. But just for me personally, I feel better when I do. And I'm just happy that this is what's happened this past week or so. It's seven, I've just been answering some more emails. I ate my dinner, my favorite dinner. I haven't made that in a while. Um, and I think I'm actually gonna go start reading. I haven't had a night to just read in so long and I have an early workout anyway, so like being in bed at nine would be ideal. Good morning, guys. It is 5.30 in the morning and I'm somehow awake. I think I'm like getting used to this routine. Taryn even texted me that she's awake and feels great, so it's very weird. Anyways, I'm going to Core Power, surprise, surprise. This top is Year of Ours. These bottoms are um, actually Amazon and they're the dupes for the aligned legging butt and the biker shorts, so I'll link them below because I think these are like $18, but they are so soft. Like, they are my favorite biker shorts by far. Okay, I'm on my way to a sculpt class. Ooh, red. I wanted to say, I'm bringing these for me and Taryn because we love them. The Alani New um, Energy Drinks and Tropical. Molly is actually who originally told me about them. Um, probably, I want to say almost a year ago now. And they are so good. Like, I have never, I'm not a huge energy drink girl outside of Celsius, obviously. And they're just so good. I cannot believe I'm becoming one of those people who naturally wakes up. I used to wake up really early. I didn't naturally do that. Like... I think I'm becoming a monster. Today's Thursday, so that means a new podcast episode out. We have Katie Austin, Sports Illustrated model, um, now college athlete, fitness expert. Um, I'm too tired to talk about this. It's a really good episode. We talk a lot about like work ethic and how she was able to do everything and how she operates because she does like 15 different things. Um, 
we also talk about like growing on social media and things like that as well as fitness and health and wellness and anti-hustle culture and taking care of yourself so i think you guys are really gonna like the episode i'm very excited for it it is 7 a.m and i've already finished my workout i mean i'm being so annoying but this is the best feeling in the world also update on my new car a lot of questions about this car. This isn't my car. As we know, I've been in the process of buying a new car. Honestly, I've just been like a lazy adult. It's been a process. Also, getting the color combo I want is really hard. That's the main thing. And I had to start open new accounts for business stuff and no one cares. We took my car in like two weeks ago. My dad's letting me borrow this car. I've been pre-approved, so we're essentially just waiting to find the color combination that I want. And then I will have a new car, which is very exciting. I'm trying on outfits for my birthday weekend and this dress. Is just like not giving the coverage that I want. I need something with a cutout like this, like under the boobs. So. All right, I also got this dress, which I think is like so pretty and cute. Um, the only thing I worry about is like sweating off self tanner since it's white, but I do think it's really cute and like honestly perfect for a little country concert. Obviously, I'm wearing boots. The other reason I really wanted to wear the green dress is because I know that my dad got me like the Casey boots and they have like a green patch on them and I thought it would be so cute together. Here is the second dress. I think this is really cute too. It's kind of like a midi dress. So um, this was gonna be more for like a birthday brunch and I was planning on wearing it with boots, but I don't know. Sorry the lighting is backlit guys. Eventually I'll get something to cover that, but I don't know. I think it's cute. Maybe I'll just wear a little like heeled sandals like I have like these, like that's super easy, nothing crazy. Um, but I'm wearing these shoes right now. I got them yesterday, I finally tried them on. They are the most comfortable platform shoes ever. They give you so much height. Okay, so this is also a potential, like this isn't really, the top is gonna be like tighter. Um, I do like it, I thought it was cute. I don't know, I like it, it's scrunchy so it's flattering. If you can see this, I think it's cute, but I would like the straps to be tighter. All right, guys, I just finished filming. Why is this stuck on me? I just finished filming um, the closet reveal, which is very, very exciting. Also, I ordered a cold brew and a smoothie because I ran out of cold brew at home, and this cold brew is not good. And I like really need coffee. So in about 20 minutes, um, Markel is coming over. We already shot together this week, but um, she's gonna shoot my new merch pieces for me, which is exciting. So she's coming um, very, very soon. So I've gotta get that together. You know what? I'm just gonna show you guys the pieces. They don't come out until end of August, but if you're a vlog viewer, you deserve it. So there's four pieces. One of them is a mug, so I don't have that. One of them is a trekker hat. Isn't it so beautiful? It should be the last week of August that it's available. Um, so we have this hat and then we have this cute little set. Hey, look. Ah! These sweatshorts and then this shirt. So cute. You can wear them together. You can wear them separately. Um, I just love them. So that's the plan. We're going to shoot these today. In case anyone cares, this is one of the ways I'm going to style. Um, I have a Skims bodysuit on, my new I love you so much shorts, and then I have this on. Um, obviously, I can wear it together too, and then I'm going to end up styling these with just Yeezys. These are like my one of my best purchases, and I haven't worn them in so long. Um, jeans, the hat, and the t-shirt, so it's just like super simple, easy, whatever. That is the look. Mm -hmm. shooting merch it's 12 30 the video has been sent over to my editor i have therapy at one then i have a class with giorgio armani on zoom which is exciting um i need to do some like computer work and like newsletter stuff and then at five i have a massage i'm getting a massage at the now on greenville i've actually gone to the now um there's two locations in dallas i went to the other one so i'm excited to go to the greenville location if you guys didn't know the now is like a really great massage place uh, it's really big in la and they're opening in dallas actually i mean they've already opened in dallas i'm starting to worry that i'll fall asleep in my massage this afternoon but i think i'm gonna be okay um i just had a virtual facetime therapy session why can't i 
Anyways, I got a package from Laura Mercier, and I just want to say, they have these beautiful cards and notes. This was not them, the little stain on there, that was me. Yeah, I mean, like, it's just so beautiful. Oh, oh, I mean, it's so cute. Look at that scarf, love that. And I'm unboxing some products. I actually have Giorgio Armani, like, this is what I'm wearing right now, guys. That's just, like, not probably acceptable, but. I ordered sushi for lunch because the thing starts in, like, three minutes, and I didn't have time to make lunch. And I'm so hungry, I was shaking. So should I have made lunch at home? Yes. Did I? No. Oh wow, that's cute. This is what I have for the event today. I love these. Oh my gosh. Cute. Oh, update on the car situation, guys. Things are kind of happening fast. Um, my car guy and I have been on the phone collectively probably like an hour and a half today looking at cars online and uh, yeah. I'm ready pre approved, so once we find one, you know, hopefully I get it. We'll see. This is my first car I'm actually buying on like my own, completely by myself. So I'm very excited. I've been driving the car that I've had since high school, which I love that car and I was so grateful for that car. I really honestly just ran it and drove it until I could not any longer. So here we are. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm cold. I just wanna lay in bed, but I can't. I have to push through today. I'm almost done with my work day. I'm getting close. Molly or Stern and I'm a makeup artist. I'm on my way to get a massage. What a nice treat for myself, guys. But I'm going to the now. I'm going to the one on Greenville. I'm really excited. Um, this is a really cool massage place. Again, I've already been to two locations, one of them in LA. But I'm really excited. I love Greenville. Do you ever park and you're like, this would be really embarrassing if like someone I knew saw? Yeah. I'm back from my massage. It was incredible. They gave me this gift. <gasps> Aww. That is so nice of them. Okay, so they gave me the calm bomb and then I don't know what these are. Oh, I love this. Uh, is it, how do you pronounce it? Gua Sha, I think. Wow. So you guys live in Dallas, check them out. They have a Preston location and then they also have the Greenville one, and then they also have LA. It is now 10 p.m. Taryn just left. We had a nice dinner at my house and just hung out, but I wanted to show you guys my new bedding. Um, this is not done. I, I just, like, quite literally put this on my bed, so don't worry about it. We'll have some other things, but I got this from Target. We have some more pillows over here. I just have to get um, some, like, actual... I mean, I have pillowcases. I don't have pillows. Look at this. I really like the look of this. I know that I'll show you guys in better lighting tomorrow, but it's really soft and really cozy. I'll add some more pillows, but honestly, my bedding was just kind of trashed. So I had to really, you know, do some things about that. But it doesn't look cute on camera right now, but I promise you it's cute in person. And I'll add some blankets to it. And it'll be Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. It is 6.35. I'm on my way to Core Power. I know, it's the same thing every single day, guys. That's what I'm saying, you know? I vlog my life, I don't know what you want from me. Parker McCollum's new album came out. I have a bug bite on my finger and it hurts. That's exciting, because they're going to his concert tomorrow night, so, and there's a song named Dallas. <laughs> Love that. Anyways, I'm on my way to work out. I didn't go to bed until like 11.30. <sighs> it's pretty late for me, so it's a little bit unfortunate. It's 10 a.m. I'm editing. Um, I just ordered some breakfast. I have my coffee here and I'm just gonna be working for the rest of the day. I also showered and self tan and I have this little scrunchy thing. Guys, I think I'm getting the hang of vlogging like normal again. Um, I feel like this weekend on my life vlog I'm about to film is gonna be much better. Fitz, what was that about? Oh no, the light. Can't look at it. The scrunchie right here is a terry cloth scrunchie. It just helps your hair dry. Um, it's from Breaking Beauty Podcast and they sent it and I've been using them this week and I really like them. Anyways, um, I'm gonna end today's vlog and charge this camera so I can film my birthday weekend on my life vlog. So that's very exciting, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't make it longer. I've been seeing the comments. I hear you guys, you want longer vlogs. But if you don't, also let me know. I feel like I never know. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Do you have, like, any the aura ring or anything? I actually am getting it next week. That's so funny okay, you said that. Okay, I am considering ordering it. I was thinking about it today. I'm like, do I just buy it now? My mom is obsessed okay. with it and checks it every day. So I'm getting it next week. Funny you said that.